So why do we have animals if we live on a plant-based homestead? Hey friends, I'm Jen. And I'm Chris. And today we're going to share why we have farm animals on a plant-based homestead. So we were tagged in a video by our friend Josh over at the City Stead. He knows we're a plant-based homestead, so he wanted to know why we have animals. So today we're gonna to share a little bit about why we have animals. So thanks for watching. Good girl. The goats are one of my favorite groups of animals on our property and for a lot of reasons. I think the biggest reason is they have a huge personality. Um, Noelle specifically, she was born on the farm a little over a year ago and from a young age, you know, goats in general at a young age are all over the place, bouncing around, making a lot of noise, causing ruckus. It's just very enjoyable to be around. And as you can see by the tricks that Noelle is able to do as well, they have a lot of intelligence and they're able to learn things and be trained to do things by positive reinforcement and a lot of animals are actually and so you'll see here she's <laughs> quite used to it now there's just a lot of companionship to be had with the goats by spending time with them she's so gentle too i know she's doing it before i'm even patting my chest or one of her favorite things is getting scratches right behind her horns it's not a pain or a burden to take care of them it brings more joy than it does bring difficulty there's yes. a net gain there by having our goats. Yeah. We definitely don't have animals in the homestead because it makes life easier. Yeah, There are absolutely. lots, <laughs> there are so many added challenges to having animals, added stresses, added costs. Mm -hmm. I mean, the costs are huge, responsibilities. But to some extent, the work involved makes it more rewarding. When you build that relationship, when you have that animal that is healthy and thriving. Yeah. Because you know you had to put work into it, just like anything, like hard work makes something more rewarding. And so these animals, they're hard work. I think the stresses we deal with in terms of, you know, random health issues that come up and things like that as well, they help grow us both as people because it helps us learn how to react more positively in stressful situations, which, you know, may paralyze a lot of people. Yeah. There's the eye that is swollen. So we are just gonna go ahead and apply an ointment to it. It's gonna be a two-person job. Yesterday, we experienced our first loss on the homestead since we moved here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It helps us to, it gives us skills that can extend into other areas of our lives. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at her little face. Hi, sweetie. Come over and say hi. And I would add another thing. These goats were rescued. They were taken from a neglect situation where they were starved and they were put in a big field full of mud and trash and they were surrendered to a humane society. They had hoof infections and they were <clears throat> underweight and they were terrified of people. And so to have goats from that situation to care for them and to give them a life they never would have had is a really beautiful thing. And I think that we have really developed a heart for for rescue um, through that. As hard as it is and the added challenges that it does bring, it's really just been so rewarding. Why do we have barn cats? Well, the barn cats are a dual purpose animal. <laughs> we got them initially I would say primarily because we were having a rodent issue in our barn and we were having mice getting into feed bags and uh, even a couple instances of rats in the barn as well. And so we wanted to have some kind of natural way and natural and consistent way of pest control, something that would be around for years to come. We wouldn't have to continually reset along the way as we could have expected. They just became really loving companions as well. We could tell from the minute we adopted them that they had really sweet personalities. And I'd say those personalities have only blossomed further since they've lived here on the property and they've had space to roam. I love being greeted by them whenever I come out to the barn to do the chores. They will always, without fail, come and find me and get me to pet them and say hello to me. They're just very sweet and they add a lot of companionship and similar to the other animals, entertainment as they climb things and traverse all these high expanses around our property. 
What do you think? What do you think, Basil? She's got a very striking face. She just wants to go right. <laughs> snow on your face. Another reason we love having animals is we get to enjoy each of their unique personalities and silliness. I mean, this girl, she's got the floofiest head in the world and not only does each different type of animal have a uniqueness and beauty about them, but within that species or breed, you have such diversity in personality, in appearance, and it's just so fun to get to know each of them. It's adorable, it's entertaining, and it makes me feel more connected with the world around me. Right? And this one has is yet to be named. So if you have any great ideas for what her name should be, let us know in the comments below. touch on one more really important point and I don't want you guys to miss this one when we think of horses or goats or chickens we might think of them as serving a specific purpose whether it's horseback riding or laying eggs or producing milk but at its core in this day and age that we live in the real purpose that they're serving is bringing us some sort of happiness through those different modalities right and so pure companionship if it brings you happiness that's a valid reason in and of itself horseback riding is not necessary to get from a to b anymore we have cars so tj in my life <laughs> through his silliness through licking my boots and being just his cute fluffy self brings me happiness just like getting on the back of a horse would do don't chew on the wood What I mean by this is the world we live in is no longer dictated by survival or utilitarianism. We have modern technology, tools, and capabilities to escape simply trying... <laughs> He's chewing on my boot. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I'm trying to record here. Just like we have dogs and cats in our home that are entertaining us and giving us love and bringing us happiness just by being there, Farm animals can serve the exact same purpose in your life and you don't have to feel guilty about that. You don't have to be working your horses or using them to plow the fields or even riding them to feel like you can make room for them on your farm. You tired? You sleepy boy? You sleepy? Oh, I'm gonna get poop in the video. <laughs> You give me a kiss? He's so cute, but watch out. Here comes the boss man. This homesteading life, our modern homestead, is not a requirement for us to survive. We do it because we love having these animals in our lives. They make each day a little bit lighter, a little bit sillier, and a lot more fun. And in that, they're bringing a lot of purpose, even if it might not seem like it on the outside. Who doesn't want to get booped by a horsey nose? It's the biggest, softest nose you'll ever get booped by. One of the other most valuable things about having animals on our homestead 
is being able to share the experience of meeting and engaging with an animal to someone who has never had an experience like that before. It allows our friends and our family, people who have never had experience with farm animals or doing any kind of farm work, it gives them the opportunity to get outside their comfort zone, to interact with an animal like this, who is 10 times my weight. The experience allows them to challenge their fears and to face those fears and realize that they can overcome them and that the animals have a calmness to them and they provide a form of therapy to help people get past these fears. Again, we want to thank Josh from the City Stead for tagging us in this video. It gave us a chance to share our life a little bit more with you guys. And I wish we could have found who originally started this challenge. We weren't able to, but if it was you, comment below and we'll add you to the description of this video. If you have animals on your farm for companionship, let us know. Respond to this video and talk about why you love having your animals. Getting mauled. Are they as goofy as this one? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, friends, I hope you learned a little bit of something uh. new <laughs> about us today. Stop it. About, stop it. Take your mouth off of his zipper. <laughs> stop. So that's why we have animals on our homestead. And I hope when you go out and you see your animals that you pay attention to the happiness that they're bringing you just from simply being there. Have a wonderful day. We love having you a part of our journey and we can't wait to share our next video with you. Bye guys. Bye guys. You're crazy right now. Why are you being so mouthy with me? He's very mouthy. Yeah. He's always very mouthy.